Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and for this Madden 22 Offensive Plays a Video Breakdown, we're going to take a look at press coverage, cover two man beater. In this particular video breakdown, I want to go ahead and focus in on a play that you'll find only in the Chiefs playbook that's very effective attacking cover two coverage, but also cover zero and cover one. We're going to go ahead and focus primarily on just cover two, but keep in mind, this particular play I'm about to show will also work against cover zero and cover one man press coverage. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the play itself here. And as you can see, the name of the play is called Deep Stick. Now, this particular play is an actual play. If you were to go back and take a look at some of the game footage, the real game footage for the Chiefs, you'd actually find this play being ran. So it's kind of a cool play that uh, I certainly wanted to break down for this video breakdown. And as I've already mentioned, it can attack man coverage, but it can also attack zone coverage. And another video breakdown will showcase that. But for now, let's just go ahead and focus in on man coverage, in particular, cover two press coverage. So the name of the play, as I mentioned, is called Deep Stick. You'll find this one out of the gun, Y off trips. This one features one running back, one tied in, three receivers. The personnel group is 11. The play type is pass. The concept is stick. The play's primary receiver is the tight end, the routes run are five, and the pass blockers are five. As I've already mentioned, the play that we're going to go ahead and run for this video breakdown is out of the gun, Y off trips, and the name of the play is called Deep Stick, so you can see on your screen right there. As far as on the defensive side of things, I do want to run this against the nickel 335 wide cover two man. I just want to show you how effective it is. This particular play is against this particular coverage. So let's go ahead and show you how this works here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run this play by default. I'm not going to make any hot route adjustments. I will tell you, this play is pretty effective in its own right without having to make any hot route adjustments. You've got all kinds of options. I'm going to go ahead and show this as far as attacking this cover two man. I will tell you this, four receivers can get open against this particular coverage. So let's go ahead and run it and then we'll just kind of walk you guys through it now the play's primary receiver happens to be kelsey now he is lined up right here as you look at your screen right there he's going to be lined up at the uh, tight end spot right here so he's running a stick route now let me tell you this against zone coverage he actually curls up back towards the quarterback against man coverage almost always breaks towards the outside on that out route so when you're running this play, if you see him break to the outside, you know it's man coverage. If you see him curl up, chances are it's going to end up being zone coverage. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and just throw the ball to him right off the bat here. I just want to show you how this works against that coverage. And right there, you can see that he gets open. So that's really the receiver that if you want to look for and you want to get somebody open against man coverage, that receiver is almost always going to be open, especially if it's an elite type tight end such as Kelsey as he breaks towards the outside there and you can make that throw to him and complete it nine out of ten times probably so that's one of the receivers you're going to look to throw to now i'm going to go ahead and show you some other receivers here as we go through so i'm going to work my way over to the left side i'm going to go ahead and show you robinson right off the bat now he more or less runs a slant route as long as he gets inside position you can make this throw to him to the inside and right there i don't really have it just yet but as long as he gets inside position you can make that throw to him so he's probably I'm not always going to guarantee it's going to be open, but if you can get that inside position on the on the defender, then you can make this throw right here and complete it, such as what you see on your screen. So watch and see if he gets inside position before making that throw. His particular route's nice because if they blitz, and you don't think you're going to have enough time to throw some of those other receivers on your right, that's the receiver you probably should look to throw to. So if you see a blitz, probably consider throwing him right off the bat. All right, let's go ahead and work our way over to Hill here. Since I've already showed you Kelsey, let's just go ahead and take a look at Hill here. And he's going to go ahead and run that wheel route. He's another receiver you can throw to deep down the field, down that sideline against this particular coverage where he's going to be wide open. And you have a big chance for one play score on here. And I'm going to show that later in the video breakdown with a couple hot routes where it can really get him open, where you can make that throw such as what I just shown there, but even more so where he'll be even more open. All right, this time I'm going to go ahead and throw to Hardman here. He's running that uh, post route. So he takes that inside release. He's lined up on the right here. He's running that inside post route. And he's another receiver against cover two man coverage is going to be open once he breaks towards the post. Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you with this particular play, if you decide to throw to him, you've got to watch this safety right here because there is nobody forcing him to go back and drop back in that deep zone like he's supposed to. And if you look at that instant replay, if we were to go in instant replay, you'd see this. So 
He's supposed to go out here, but because there's no one dropping deep or running a deep pass route on his side, he actually kind of just cheats a little bit. And that's going to put him in a lot better position than what you want if you try to make this throw. So I would tell you Hardman against this particular coverage because you don't have him dropping deep may not always be an option to make that throw down there because you're going to be running into a lot of traffic and you might get Hardman killed there. So let's go back into instant replay and just take a look at him as far as this route that I'm just showing with Hardman. Right there, you can see, as I just pointed out, here comes that safety into the picture here as you look. And that, you know, if I make that catch, maybe I'll make it, but I'm probably going to end up getting smacked and might just drop the pass. So just keep that in mind. I, want you, I just want to point that out to you. So all th four receivers are technically open. Hardman's probably the one that you're probably least likely going to throw to unless you do something like this. If you put... If you put, uh, take away the slant route with Robinson and you put him on a streak, then that becomes a different story because now that safety will fan out and now you do have that. So see what I mean on the difference between there? If you put the outside receiver on the left, the solo receiver on the left on a streak, such as what I just did there, then that's going to open him up a lot more because now the safety has to go out here and play over. He cannot cheat to the inside. So that's if you decide to do that. Now, if you do that, that's going to take away that option that you have underneath. If they blitz, you won't have Robinson now running that slant route. You wouldn't have him running this. So that's kind of the trade-off between the two if he shows the side to do that. All right, so that's the play right there pretty much for the, without making really any hot route adjustments. I know I kind of showed uh, Robinson on the streak, but that's the play by default for the most part. I didn't really point the running back out. Just know that he runs this route out of the backfield as he comes into this area here. Gets man coverage, probably not going to be open. So I just want to point that out to you as he goes towards the flat, towards the right. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and make some hot route adjustments. I want to show you how you can really get Hill wide open here who runs that wheel route. So as I've already pointed out, Hill lines up here in the slot over here on the middle right here, right there as you look at your screen on the right side in the middle between the tight end and the outside receiver. Now, he runs that wheel route as he comes over here and he breaks up the field. A lot of times, you're going to find him open, even against cover two, without making any adjustments. I've already shown that. But if you want to make some adjustments to make him even more open, I'm going to show you how to do that. And the reason I want to show that is this safety right here, when I ran that play earlier, he actually was able to kind of get over there and kind of be in position. But if you make a couple hot route adjustments, you can really make him actually go where he'll play, where he'll play actually towards the inside and therefore it's gonna make Hill that much more open on the outside. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and put Kelsey, if you have, if you're using the Chiefs, you wanna go ahead and put him on a crosser, such as what you see on your screen right there. And then the other thing I like to do is, I like to go ahead and send Hardman to the left, and I'll snap the ball before he gets set. And then this is gonna clear everything out towards the right side of the screen. And a lot of times I can get a big play deep down the field where I can, if I get lucky enough, I can go in for one play touchdown. Now, keep in mind, I realize not everybody has Hill on their team, but if you have someone such as him or someone with that type of speed, maybe 95 or better, you got an opportunity for a big play deep down the field. I'm going to go in instant replay because I want to show this to you guys. I want to go ahead and zoom in right here on this safety. Now, earlier, this safety actually went out to the outside here when I didn't have Kelsey running that crossing route. He went a little further outside. You're going to look here. You're going to see that he's cheating. Let's go back here and go back in here and zoom in again. You're going to see that he cheats to the inside here. And that's because of that crosser. See how he cheats right there? See how he's cheating to the inside to go ahead and cover Kelsey on that crosser? That is going to create some spacing now where we can make that deep throw deep down the field and hit... Hill deep down the field for a big play down there and possibly going for a score such as what you see on the screen. That's what I like about this particular play because it gives you an opportunity if your opponents run a lot of cover two type man coverages, then this is going to give you that opportunity to make that throw. Now, also know, to, know this, not every team has Kelsey, obviously. He can only be one player, so he's going to be on the Chiefs. Now, what you can do is if you have another team you're using, you can't put them on a crossing route, you can put them on a streak if you want. That's still going to give you the same results for the most part. He may not cheat as far inside as what I just showed, but he still will cheat in. When I mean he, that'll be that safety. He still will cheat somewhat to the inside and allowing Hill to get open on that wheel route to the outside. Let's go ahead and do the same thing, but this time we got Kelsey on the streak. 
same thing here on the other side of the field. We're going to go ahead and do this. And we should still get that play deep down the field. So that's another option you can do. Now, I've been doing some motion with Hardman on the outside. You do not have to motion Hardman. Maybe you want to leave Hill matched up with a slower. A lot of times the inside defensive back, he may be slower than the outside defensive back. So this guy might be slower than this guy. So you know that if you know that, then what you want to do is you don't want to motion Hardman. You might want to go ahead and put Hardman on a drag route, such as what I'm going to do here. Put Kelsey on a crosser or a streak, depending on how what player you have. And you can still get the same results as I just showed earlier, but now you're matched up with a slower, possibly a slower defensive back. So let's go ahead and run it again. And then we get that same result. So I just want to show that to you guys. That's another option there. You don't have to motion Harmon to the left. If you want, you can go ahead and just simply top route him on a drag route and you're still going to get some nice results. Uh, especially if you can get him matched up against a slower defensive back, such as what I'm showing there. So that's pretty much it there. The one thing I do want to point out, I'm going to run this one more time. This is going to be that pro tip. I do want to point this out to you. I'm just going to go ahead and run this play this way without making any uh, motion as far as with Hardman. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this play. I just want to show you guys one last thing. This is the pro tip I want to show here. When you're making this catch, make sure you hit that catch and run button. That's going to be the X button. If you're playing on the Xbox, make sure you go ahead and hit that because that's going to allow you to catch and run and possibly go all the way in for a one play score. So just keep that in mind as you run that. That's uh, pretty important when you run this play. So guys, I hope this uh, particular video breakdown kind of gives you some insight of a play that you can run from the Chiefs playbook. It's unique to the Chiefs playbook that's called Gun Y Off Trips Deep Stick. That's going to give you some nice options to throw to against man press coverage, particularly cover two that's going to allow you to go ahead and meet that type of coverage and definitely have a chance for one play touchdown when you run this particular play. Hey Madden Gamers, if you enjoy this Madden video or any other video, please subscribe to the Madden Guides YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching and for your support.